This is nice and spicy chicken tinga nachos. This uh, is a big old tray of how we start our nachos, right? Can, I want to toast these up before we top them so that they stay extra crisp. Grate up some pepper jack, put two cheeses on this, throw it in the oven. And then can you chop up for me these poblanos, charred peeled poblanos, and some green onion? Got you. Cool? Thanks. On it. I'm going to tell you how we started the tinga sauce. Now, I'm going to take a shortcut. We're just using good old rotisserie chicken from the store right here. You don't have to poach it. You don't have to roast it. Just pick up a rotisserie chicken. For the sauce, we start with tomatillos. Tomatillos look like green tomatoes. They are not. They're their own thing. They're their own fruit. They come with these papery wrappers. They're actually related to gooseberries. They're very tangy and delicious. You peel the paper off. They're a little sticky. So before you chop them up, give, give them a rinse. We chop them up, oh, five or six of them, throw them in a skillet with a big old onion, salt, pepper, and a little olive or canola oil, doesn't matter, and start cooking out those tomatillos. If you like salsa verde, you like tomatillos, okay? Little salt in there, and now we're gonna spice things up, and of course I grated in some garlic. We're gonna throw in a bay leaf, and then for our sweet and sour flavor in the tinga, we're gonna add two turns of the pan of cider vinegar, and about two tablespoons of light brown or dark brown sugar for our sweetness to balance the tang. So I added two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce and about a half a palmful of Mexican oregano to our mix. Then we're gonna make it hot. You like things spicy, middle of the road, or mild? I could eat it spicy. Okay, we're gonna add in three to four tablespoons of pureed chipotle and adobo, which are smoked chilies in vinegar and spice. And then we're gonna add in one can of fire roasted diced tomato, a splash of bone broth, and then we're gonna let that cook down and thicken up with the meat of one rotisserie chicken. Okay, uh, when this thickens up, add a little splash of lime. It's smelling delicious, don't you think? Yeah, I do. <laughs> All right, start, start chopping with more cheese. Okay. I'll get this last chip. We didn't get chicken over here. Any leftovers of this, you can make into a breakfast burrito or hash. Just melt an egg up on top with some cheese. I know, right? We ain't playing. Uh-uh. <laughs> Get in there. Don't be cheap with it. How are we looking? We're looking good. Looking perfect, man. Open the oven for me, will you, baby? <laughs> Put it right back in there. Ooh, in the nick of time. We double cheesed. Mm. Isn't that double cheesing a good idea? Because mm. that keeps it from getting too soggy. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, so here's your scallions. Scatter on some pickled jalapenos. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. I know. <laughs> and then here we go. We're going to take some crema or sour cream and put a little cool it down sauce over the top. <laughs> 